Hello and welcome to this week's spooky episode of The Agenda. As you can see, we are not in our normal studios today. We are, in fact, in the lower basement of Harstad. The building was built in the 1800s and right now I am standing in the old boiler room. As you can see, we are right next to the boiler. We have all this old brickwork and old things that have been left around. Some think that the ghost of Harstad might, have, might inhabit this area during the evening, but they're not sure. According to Susan, the Harstad housekeeper, the most supernatural activity happens in the basement and on the fifth floor. She remembers tapping on the wall in a cool breeze as she cleaned by room G13, an old RA room. This is just one of the creepy corners that Natalie and I explored. That's creepy. We are now arriving to the fifth floor of Harstad Hall. The doors have been locked and students have been wondering why. As we look to the left, we see room 513, where rumor has it one student long ago committed suicide. In fact, all of the doors on the fifth floor are supposed to be locked. But what's that? An open door? Could it be the ghost of Harstad? In order to learn more about the supernatural at PLU, we talked to our very own quasi-ghost expert, Max Totoro. Max has been ghost hunting since he was 15 and has experienced many otherworldly phenomena. He talked to us about whether it's possible that there are ghosts on campus. I would think so, yeah. I think it's, yeah, I think it's totally possible. I think there's enough stress in college and it's, there's enough history here. It's kind of like, Harstad's an old building. It's definitely possible. I think, yeah, I think that's a weird enough of a feeling around here. To, yeah. yeah. We might never know the truth behind the ghosts at PLU.